to you a friend of mine, Celia, who has a form of autism spectrum disorder called MEF2C haploinsufficiency. And I want to tell you a little bit about that disease and how it relates to other forms of autism and intellectual disability. Celia, I'm going to dismiss you so I can talk to these nice people. Is that okay? I know that Celia is ticklish, so I'm going to give her a little tickle. Okay, why don't you guys pass? Thank you. So Celia has a mutation in a gene that we discovered a number of years ago when I was at Harvard Medical School called MEF2C. And this gene is very important in making neurons, in making nerve cells in the brain. And when you're, normally, there's one copy that comes from your mother and one copy that comes from your father. And if one copy has a small mutation in it, a missing piece, or the wrong genetic code, you get this form of autism spectrum disorder. Now, we know in general, autism spectrum disorder has become very prevalent. In the United States alone, one in every 65 live births is thought to result in a form of autism. And there are many forms of autism. What's particularly interesting about MEF2C is a colleague of mine up the coast at UCLA, Dan Geshman, has shown there are at least five major hubs of genes, that is, families of genes, that when mutated can cause autism or intellectual disability. And we know that MEF2C is a factor that controls genes. It's called a transcription factor, and it actually links all of these forms of autism. Very few genes are involved in autism in that way. So not only do you have Celia's case, which is affecting MEF2C, but if we could affect that transcription factor, we might be able to treat all forms of autism. And in fact, our group is developing drugs that should be able to do this. We have some history in drug development. Ours is the group that developed a drug for Alzheimer's disease called Memantine or Nemenda. It's now approximately the 20th best-selling drug in the world. So we know how to develop drugs, but we need your help to develop drugs to help little girls like Celia and little boys, also in my practice, that have these forms of autism. So I appeal to you, and I hope you can help us. Thank you.